Now mole fraction is simply another way of finding the concentration of the solution. It's represented by the letter X. And the formula reads moles of solute divided by moles of solute plus moles of solid. So you're dividing by the total number of moles. Now this formula gives you the mole fraction of solute. You could also find the mole fraction of the solvent by simply changing the top to the moles of solvent divided by the total number of moles. Now notice mole fraction is a fraction. You divide moles by moles, which means it's unitless. Now let's try a problem using mole fraction. The problem tells us that we have 250 grams of sodium chloride and 1500 grams of H2O. Now notice H2O is our solvent and NaCl is our solute. Now our goal is to find the mole fraction of NaCl and H2O. Now the first step is to find the number of moles of sodium chloride and the number of moles of H2O. In order to find the number of moles, we have to find the molecular weight of each compound. To find the molecular weight of NaCl, we have to add the atomic weight of sodium and the atomic weight of chlorine. That gives us 23.0 grams per mole plus 35.5 grams per mole gives us 58.5 grams per mole. This is our molecular weight. Now we take our weight 250 grams of sodium chloride, divide that by the molecular weight, and that gives us the number of moles, 4.27 moles of sodium chloride found within the solution. Now we follow the same exact steps for water. Since there are two H molecules, we have to multiply two times the atomic weight of, uh, of H, which is one, so two grams per mole plus 16 grams per mole gives us 18 grams per mole. So the molecular weight of water is 18 grams per mole. Next, we take the weight, 1500 grams per mole of water, divide that by 18 grams per mole, and we get 83.3 moles of water found within the solution. Finally, to find the mole fraction, we use the formula. The mole fraction of H2O is the number of moles of H2O divided by the total number of moles gives us 83.3 divided by the total number of moles which is approximately 0.95. To find the mole fraction for sodium chloride we follow the same procedure but now on the top we put the number of moles of NaCl so 4.27 divided by the total number of moles gives us 0.05. Now because mole fraction is a fraction, we divide moles by moles, the answers are unitless.